Hi everyone, this is Annette. Welcome to my scrapbooking corner. I have a Bob the Builder layout. <coughs> I got those die cuts from a coloring page online. And so I think I did a general Bob the Builder search. Okay? And the paper is what is in their fill option you can fill it with a pattern and it's a wood grain and then the I have like a brick fill for the photo mats and then I just printed them out and used my cutter to cut them out and I wanted my title to look like this and that is uh, what is it called a sketch and I just did a charcoal sketch and I thought it would print out but it doesn't so I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I also updated my silhouette and now it won't print and cut it cuts but it can't it keeps telling me it can't find registration lines and so I do it manually and then it completely cuts it wrong so anyway <coughs> I uninstalled the silhouette and reinstalled the old version because and now it's doing better <clears throat> that's how I was able to get this to cut out my title in the yellow to cut out but anyway so I had to I still did this scribble look but I just had to do it with markers and then Bob the Builder I just cut um, used the fill option to color him in and as well as this little guy here I don't know their names because I don't watch Bob the Builder but anyway I thought it was cute so with that let's get started Alright, so my base page is going to be the black cardstock. And I did a print and cut of a wood. It kind of looks like a wood grain type paper, like wood flooring. And the photo mat is, uh, looks like brick. And this is all done using the the uh, pattern fill, I guess, on the silhouette design edition. And that uh, ribbon is from my stash, and I took the drywall tape and I misted it with orange and yellow mist using my triple ends, which is my own homemade mist. I named it after myself. And I put layered up behind the photo mats and everything's inked with walnut stain and the photo mats are five by three and three quarters sorry it's five and a quarter five and a quarter by Oh, I'm gonna get something done on my photo mat. Oh well. Alright, sorry. And that I took, all I did was I, uh, the title's done on the Robot Cameo as well, and then I took white cardstock and I just took a black zig and I just scribbled lines and then I laid the title down on it and then I just kind of cut around it because I wanted to do the sketch I did the when I planned I pre-planned this page on the silhouette edition and it was uh, I liked the sketch look of it but it wouldn't cut a sketch so I don't know how what the point of the sketch is but anyway and Bob the Builder and I don't know what he's called but I don't ever watch Bob the Builder but uh, they are done using a coloring page and my photo map on the second page are three and three quarters by five and a quarter and that smaller one is three and a half by three and a half. And there's Reese coming to visit. 
And I did the same thing with the dry wall tape. Fill my ATG, which only takes a second. Doesn't take me very long. From there, I'm just going to found the dry wall. And I have it go all the way across to the to the uh, second bottle line as well. And then I just have to do the drywall tape to this one. And that is pretty much it. I did a print and cut too. I didn't do paper line. I did print and cut, which is what I had said at the beginning of the video. And so with that, that pretty much completes this layout. So when I have more done, I will be back with that. Thanks for watching.